Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with blueprints. We're going to be looking at how we can continue to work with uh, inputs. So inputs are essentially going to allow us to uh, pretty much fire off uh, functions and stuff like that. Functions, commands and stuff uh, based on user input from the, uh, the player. So as of right now, we already have basic player movement set up. But if we want to add in a uh, additional functionality, like stuff like sprinting or grenades and stuff um, we can actually use the input keys to trigger functions and get that all started so let me just go ahead and show you a quick example if I go ahead and press the G key there's a quick explosion on the ground like that and that's pretty much just what we're going to be creating today just setting up inputs the proper way through the project settings and then uh, using them accordingly inside of blueprints so without further ado let's just go ahead and open up a quick blueprint here to see what we're going to be doing as you can see here we've got input action and then grenade and that's essentially just attached to the G key and is actually set within the project settings so you can use it in um, whatever blueprint class you want it just allows allows you to pretty much reuse it, it's brilliant, efficient and all that good stuff. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and uh, show you how you can uh, create this stuff. So to start off, just go ahead and go to edit and then go to project settings. From there, on the engine tab, you need to go down to input. From here, you can also adjust a whole bunch of project settings, which I will be going over in uh, later episodes. But for now, just go ahead and go over to input and then we've got some bindings. This allows us to set bindings, uh, key bindings within the game. Not necessarily just with the keyboard, but also for controllers and mobile and all of that stuff. So if you take a quick look here for bindings under action mappings, we can actually create um, new action uh, events basically with the keys. So to do that, just go ahead and press the big plus button here, add action mapping. And this is going to allow us to name it. So if you want to, I'm just going to go ahead and call this explosion effect. And then from there, I can choose a, um, a key. So what I can do here is I can choose like the Xbox One, Android, Steam and all that stuff. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and work with the keyboard. Having said that, this way you can also um, add in additional keys uh, for the same function. So if you wanted to, you could have... Uh, the button, but the button on the controller on the Xbox, uh, being the same as the button on the uh, on the keyboard. So, for example, the button for a grenade on a Xbox 360 controller that might be the X button and at the same time you're going to want to be able to play that on PC as well you just want it to work well so you just set up all the action mapping inside of here and it just works brilliant I'll show you um, so explosion effect let's go ahead and uh, go down here and we're just going to look for the G key and uh, we should be able to find it if we look hard enough we're just going to type in G and then if we go down and go to keyboard it should be under G if we wanted to, we could also add in an additional uh, key map for this. So if the G key isn't available, like when you're on the Xbox, you can add uh, the Xbox One, and then we could go to, I don't know, global back, global play, pause, something like that. Let's just go ahead and chuck it in as play. Now we've done that, we can actually use that action map inside of the blueprints. So um, let's just go ahead and open up our player character blueprint. So just go to third person blueprint, go to meshes, blueprints, whatever, open it up and now we can start playing with it. So if you want access to those key bindings, it's quite simple really. You just go over to input and then go to uh, action events and then you can choose explosion effect, grenade or jump. Now jump is in there already, grenade I made previously and explosion effect we just made and we can have access to it. Once we've got that, we have the option for pressed released and then key. Don't worry about key for now, but pressed and released is the important bits. So now when the player holds either the uh, G key or whatever we set for the Xbox One, uh, it will fire some kind of effect. So let's just go ahead and create a spawn emitter or node, just so we can actually see it in action. Spawn emitter at location. Quite simple, drag it in, choose an emitter. I'm gonna use some kind of grenade smoke effect you can use whatever you want um, but right now I'm just doing this for the purposes of uh, giving us something visual that we can see so I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, frag grenade this time and as for my location I'm just gonna get get socket location and I'm just gonna get that from uh, the player 
uh, the player mesh. So if I go ahead and drag in the mesh, I can do so just like that and then hook this up, hook that up and then from here I can just type in the socket name. Uh, if you want to check sockets, you can do that quite easily. I'm just going to use foot for now as it is something I've got in my character. Go ahead and press play, possess, press the G key and we've got some nice little explosions but the most important bit is that we now have inputs all set up you can do that for whatever kind of gameplay mechanics you want to work with but anyway uh just experiment with that really do whatever you like hopefully you've learned something from this tutorial and i will see you in the next episode goodbye